Hey guys, Screw Blind Wave back. I am Calvin. I'm Aaron. Eric. Rick. And we are here with a new show reaction that just came out today. Halo. This is on Paramount Plus, Calvin. Indeed. Mm. It's the first Paramount Plus show. We had to set up a account. Yeah. Indeed. Just now. It's very exciting. Yeah. I'm very excited for this show. Mm. We saw a couple of trailers a while mm. back. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they played Phil Collins. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Huh? Dead. I like football. In in a in a minor key, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's your pet peeve. It is. But hopefully this show is not your pet peeve. I'm I'm very hopeful for it. Uh, what experience do you guys have with Halo? Uh, I have played the multiplayer twice on our Twitch, twitch.tv. Ha Halo Halo Infinite. Yes. yes. Um, and I greatly enjoyed it. But of the lore, nothing. Nada. So I'm going into this with complete fresh eyes without any biases or... Uh, expectations. Expectations. Anything like that. All okay. Right. I've played through the first three games. I've just finished <laughs> playing through one and two with Maggie again. Uh, partially in order to get ready for this show. Um, but I did not really play them for the story. Yeah. So the story is not like something that I know a ton about or care too much about. Gotcha. So if the show goes in a different direction, it's fine with me. There are, like, in the cutscenes, there's a decent amount of story. But as far as the gameplay, there's not a tremendous amount in the games. Uh, I know there's a lot of, like, novels. There are quite a few novels, and there's some uh, animated shows as well that cover a lot more of the lore and stuff. What about you? Um, I played multiplayer a lot throughout the years and probably have just collected random bits here and there. <laughs> um, I played the first game though for story on stream. Like I did a one day all day stream. Yeah. yeah. Like Where you just I don't know a few months ago. Powered through it. Yeah. Yeah. And that's uh, I, mean, I know that stuff. I'd okay. say the only thing that this has to have is teabagging. That's the most Halo thing. Rick. Um, no. I, as far as I know, this is not going to be a show like Red vs. Blue. It needs to have... Sp oh, that's good. I watched that too. Does that count? <laughs> I've watched a lot of that. Already learning. Yes. I need to finish it, but I've watched but a lot of it. it's not canon. Um, we did a... The, the trailer reaction to this, uh, the greatest response I saw of it was that this is supposed to be like its own Halo story. Yeah. I... Don't so while it's, it's going cool to, to have all that stuff, it doesn't need to be beholden to all that stuff, yeah. right? Yeah, I believe so, so. I feel like we're all at the living playing field, except you guys just aren't. Teabagging, <laughs> can't show Master Teabagging. Chief's face. Okay. Those are the two rules. You never showed his face? No. Don't Don't we need Master Chief? I think that's a rule, too. So, this is the main Not part, always. Right? Not always, no. There's Reach, right? Is this he gonna have a little ODST. person like with him, like you think, uh -huh. and he can just be the Mandalorian? With this two guys, we're also gonna be having Q and A's at the end of each episode because yeah. there's a live show going on. So if you follow us on Twitter, you can find a link down below. Um, we have our hashtag Halo Q and A. We'll answer questions, thoughts, concerns you guys may be having about the show. We'll talk about those. Maybe we have answers, maybe we don't, but we'll talk about it all. Yeah. Also, with this being the first episode of the series. We have over on Patreon for all of our reactions a full length where you can see the entire reaction uncut, but it has no reference footage. With the first of a season, like this episode here, you can have the entire reaction. It's listed down below and check it out, whether you're a patron or not. Indeed. Mm -hmm. So this takes place in England like with all the tea. I'm looking forward to it. Sparrows are the human. They're faster, stronger, smarter. They cannot be stopped. They just keep on killing. Without mercy, there was nothing left to kill. Hmm. It's interesting we're seeing the other side. Doubters first. Yes. Yeah. See you on the other side. What? Doubters first? <laughs> like, if, if you didn't have the faith. Hmm. Juan, where Flash. are you going? It's like a sniper. Mm -hmm. Is it a ship coming in? Sounds in the like atmosphere? drop pods for a firefight. Yeah, but they would know, right? They fight them and stuff. Well, oh, I think something's shooting in there. I'm serious. <laughs> Come on, stop. Well, I got dead. Oh, oh shit! Jesus! <laughs> Don't need to write down their names. Yeah. Good guy. Ooh. Rid it in for mature. Tell you what. No, it's a coming, baby! The plasma rifle. Oh, oh my god! Look good. Who is just shooting children? Aliens. Why is she using a firework? 
It's a emergency flare. Dude, this show just started with kids getting blown up. Yep. Master Chief's gone dark. The Halo's always been ready to aim from sure. Very dip, duck, dodge, weave, jump! Aaron, why'd you say jump? Whoa. Oh, okay. Nice yeah, recovery. Like, Fuck yeah. That was I, great. That's My why knees will be shattered. That's why Zelda or Link always rolls. Nicely, right? it's shattered. You're just looking there. You would have heard glass as I as I landed on the ground. Your knees are made of glass? <laughs> <laughs> Get in the line! They're not Marines. Yep. I'm gonna open those doors and everything will be dead. We don't get to see it. Uh, Rick, we get to see it. We saw kids being blown up. I think we'll be able to. We're gonna, just, we're gonna see it. I see something shit. Ooh. Is it gonna be like a. Oh. Yeah. Open fire. Just start shooting. Those are some big ass start boys. I did not realize these things were so big. They're, They're very big. They're gigantic. But I guess the Marines are big too, right? Uh, Spartans are very Spartans big. Spartans sure. are big. Marines we'll get are there. <laughs> I don't know, I've only played yeah. the game. Don't tell him, let him be amazed in awe of the size of stuff. Oh, they just. Wow. He all shoulder checked that truck. All the sound design has been pretty good so far. Was that the guy that was in the poker match being like, yeah. I'm brave and da da da? I faced Marines. Oh, oh no. Yeah, they're all gonna die and she's not in there. They're damn shields, man. Huh? Ah. Oh. Pelican! Something, <laughs> something's here too late. <laughs> well, they're a war with us. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. Oh. One. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> I'm pretty hype right there. Not just any Spartan. He's not coming for you! Jesus. 117. Did it say 117 on him? Yes. Oh. Yeah, it did. <laughs> yeah, they're there. Yeah. Another one! <laughs> Deep. Oh, nice. It's real cool. I love oh, the we dodging. Can do, we can do first person. That's neat. <laughs> has a Take their swords. Oh. Oh. Spartans are very strong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> I love the big bulky armor, but they don't feel too restrictive in their movement. That's really hard to do in live action. Oh no. Jesus. I think you have bigger things to worry about, Elite. Oh! Nice. You just get their attention. Oh, oh the oh, noise! The sound. Dude, it is so good! <laughs> okay, he waited for his shield to recharge? Yep. yep. Yeah. <laughs> is he picking up the. Yeah, he is. HMG. Saw that in the trailer. <laughs> Were they just not as good as shots with it before? Yeah, he gives it a buff. Because before it felt like they shot him and they just hit the shield and they, they, yeah. they didn't care. He does it though and they're like, ah! <laughs> Maybe they're used up. Maybe. More. Oh, he thinks his daughter was in there, huh? I'm gonna get his cornea. Oh no. Oh no! Don't charge at him with a gun! No. What's he holding? Oh. Tattle car. That was a hell of an intro. Yeah, it was. <laughs> oh, 
train. Uh, man, this is gonna go fast. Security access, Dr. Catherine Halsey. Halsey? That sounds nice. Yeah. I told you that was a non starter. We have paused active development. Channel the genius appropriately and legally. Get rid of that and any others. Get rid of what? What's in there? I don't know. Eric, you know. I don't know, but... Comfy bed. Just didn't get much saying whether she wanted to leave or not. It's more of a workbench. <laughs> what is it you want? Independence for Madrigal. That's what my dad wanted. That's what I want. Get some rest. I'll see you on reach. Granted. It's just her. There's no one left anyway. Right? I mean, I'm sure it's not just the one village. Are you sure, Rick? The whole planet? Are you sure? How big's the planet? Planet sized? I mean, it has to be a certain size to be called a planet, right? I saw things. When I touched the object, woods, a white dog, a family. Okay. Are they <clears throat> memories he had? When he lands, you bring him straight here. Yes, Mom. Okay. He definitely seemed to know mm -hmm. what that was about. What made you say that? <laughs> Anything to eat on this ship? Yes. Oh, I ain't that. What do you mean? <laughs> give, <laughs> give it some spices, you'll be fine. <laughs> Nothing personal isn't a great excuse when it's your mom. Hmm? I think Miranda's her mom. Hmm? This is Miranda Keys, and that's. Keys. I'm Not Miranda. Isn't she Miranda? She's Miranda. Halsley. Halsley's her mom? Halsey. Despite our best efforts, she succumbed to our injuries. I, I spoke to her and she was fine. What, what injuries? Dad. You did an order in Article 72. Okay, from up top. What, and you're okay with this? It's not about being okay. No, it's about keeping the deuterium flowing regardless of the cost. Hmm. They're gonna kill her just because she's not useful? Well, I she guess. was threatening to say yeah. things that are bad sure. for their propaganda. What is it you like? Nuts. Bolts. <laughs> Microchips. <laughs> That was a joke. Yeah, no. <laughs> you know, we've actually met before today. Hmm. When was this? When you killed my mother. What? <laughs> Execute order 66. ETA is still several hours. That's still being worked out. <laughs> Hell of a conversation for that to pop up. Yeah. <sighs> I think he's having memories. What? Of his parents. So this could be a consequence of him touching that thing. Which is precisely why the Cortana system could There is sign. no Cortana system, Catherine. No cloning, no Cortana. Is that clear? No cloning. Now get your spot under control. Is that what was that bald chick in the closet? Probably. So bald chick in the closet equals cloning? Yeah. Cortana system. Take down the oxygen in 1172. Don't drop the O2 below 40. I want him unconscious, not dead. Can the girl survive this? I thought you wanted her dead. 
Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> Make up your mind. Damn. Fight through it. If he's unconscious, how come he's opening panels in the ship? <laughs> Due respect, we are talking about our most important military asset. We are not taking any chances. Let me investigate. I'll speak to John and whatever influences objects. Question have one him. more order, Doctor. And you can watch from your lab. Just send you to your room. Your room with all of the things that you would need in order to do whatever you wanted. <laughs> so these are Marines. <coughs> yep. What is this? Suited up. Mjolnir. You've been dispatched by Fleet Command to neutralize him. Yeah. I'm superseding those one. orders. Whatever he's experiencing, there are other available okay. solutions. Engage friendlies, man. If they go after Chief, they're not friendlies. Correct, Dr. Halsey? <laughs> Mind that one guy's voice. Which can guy? He, can't, even, can't even his name. Michael J. Fox? No. Close. Stop messing with that stuff. You and us see change the air mixture, not me. Why should I trust you? He could just step on you. I will kill you. Oh, no, you, you won't. won't. <laughs> <laughs> a little mini map thing. Mm -hmm. the radar. That looks just like a VR too. It is. No, I mean it looks just like it. If you want me dead, you'll need to aim up here. That's that's how you can trust someone. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> well, we need to take it off anyway so that they can't track him. Green dead. Two minutes till touchdown. Two minutes. Why are you trying to kill this random girl? Why? Orders. No orders. Came down from up top. Oh, they got luggage. Uh, shit. That's probably a kind of placement. <laughs> that works, <laughs> I guess. He's disabled the AI. Fly manually, man. Everything he does, she looks over at the other doctor. Mm -hmm. uh. Knock it down. Pulse. Oh. Oh. EM pulse. Damn. Like the war dogs. That secure case isn't very secure. Lost the chief. Every shot of them looks so cool. <laughs> uh. Well, there's your pulse back. <laughs> And, oh. <laughs> and it repowered this one. Other little bits of ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The main like theme it's, coming it's in is really cool. It's not super strong. It's just little bits there. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Auto. All right. So that was episode one of Halo. Halo. What do you guys think? I really enjoyed it. I don't think, I mean, I don't know anything about Halo, and Rick, you just said the thing, like, you better not take his helmet off. Yeah. You did. A lot of hardcore Halo fans are going to be screaming at their TVs. And that's fine. I have, As, like, a Star Wars fan, and when I see Star Wars stuff, that, that irks me. It doesn't irk the general audience. But I'm the general audience here, and here it was extremely effective for me. Yeah. I was, I don't know, there's something that, you built all this stuff up, and then put a human face to it. It was really cool. I liked it. Is it, like... 20 years effective, I guess, is the real question, right? Like, well, the thing you have to remember this is not, it, it's based on the story of the Halo games. Mm -hmm. It's it's not that story. Yeah, it's sure. a different universe. These are the characters, completely different yeah. story. Uh, I, I can both recognize that that would be a thing for people and also really enjoy that moment. Yeah. Because it did like a couple things, right? Like, it does put a face on our. <laughs> 
hero, but it sure, also... Like, uh, I think if you're going to tell people, no, this is not the games, yeah. you take Master Chief's helmet off. First episode. It's yeah. it's a moment of giving him a vulnerability and a connection to this person who sees him as an enemy and a, and a monster. And, right? is it, and it's like, look, if you want to shoot me, you're not yeah. getting through here. Is it also but I will show you that I'm vulnerable so that you hopefully trust me. He could just eat those bullets. <laughs> well, he does. Nuts, bolts. Yeah. <laughs> is it also Microchips. a way, I don't know if this is a real thing, but is it a way to distance itself from the Mandalorian a little bit, too? Rather than just a character who doesn't take his helmet off until, like, maybe an episode? I mean, yeah, like the end. Or, Halo did it first. Sure, but not in TV. And that's yeah. what matters. The TV if you're looking at, like, a general Star audience who doesn't really know Star yeah. Wars or Halo, and they're watching The Mandalorian... Like me. And then you watch this, and you're like, oh, this is just a Mandalorian again. No, 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 I get you. I'm just, that was just something that came to my mind, because honestly, I thought the guy kind of sounded a little bit, like, in a little tiny bit, but it was just, I don't know. Once he, it did throw me a little bit. Once I saw his face, it just really, I like that all of this kind of development with touching the artifact and getting memories and stuff happened without, so whenever the first time we see his face, we can read so much into that, you know, it. It like takes a puts a switch on the character that, as someone that doesn't know the franchise, I really enjoyed for an for a one episode thing. You know, I agree. I was trying to remember too. Uh, what were the names of the we we all played Reach, the yeah. Spartans and that. Like there was like a cat, right? Yep. Like that was the girl in there. I was just trying to make sure. I'm like none of these guys are like people from like the Reach storyline or anything, right? Because like we're on Reach. I was just like I wonder if we'll see any of the Reach Spartans involved in it but I don't remember any of these names being involved in that help me out we had Chief and this is Silver Squad or Silver Squad Silver, Silver team. team Silver Team, Silver team which Master Chief is John Reach, we were some other team there. yeah he's yeah. yeah. number 117 yep so, uh, you had Kai the Sniper yep 125, 125. Riz is, did we have in, 28 uh, 28 028 I didn't get Riz's name, but that makes sense. I think that's Riz. And then I did, what's the other one? Vanek. Vanek? Vanek. 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 V-A-N-N-E-K. What number is Vanek? 134. Yep. Cool. Okay. I like having that. Um, I love their suits. <laughs> their suits are awesome. Spartan suits. They're real cool. Customize them and stuff. Like, there's an element to, like, they move a little like Robocop. There's an element of that, but it's not bad for me, if that makes sense. Like, they look giant and heavy. Sure. Yeah. Which is what <laughs> they are. The only thing that felt weird to me was when they had, like, rifles and shooting. It felt like... I'm so used to a rifle having to be, like, up against your shoulder, and it felt like because of the outfits, yeah. it has to be, like, over here. Sure. So yeah. they're shooting kind of weird. It, yeah. just, it just looks weird, but it's just because the costume won't really allow you to, like, put it in here, right? I feel yeah. like there's like a cut a, to the general dude yeah. who's like, ah, shooting, and it's, like, right here. Yeah. And then it cuts to, like, Master Chief, and he has his, like... Uh, you yeah. know, and it Which, just in the cutscenes of the game, it's that's like how that. he holds it because he, they don't want to interfere you, you with the, with the yeah, yeah yeah with the texture. And of they his. can also do wield any of them yeah. anyway. So it's much. not like they need to worry about the recoil yeah. or anything. Sure. The one guy um, I was trying to think of what his name was, so I was looking it up. It was it's um, I don't know who voiced him, but the voice reminded me of Keith David. Yes. That's who I was thinking of. Yeah. Like, the, the guy with two first names. <laughs> I was trying to think of him and stuff, and I was like, oh, it's that one guy's name. Yeah. And then I went to his show, and in the show, my first thought went to Ernie Hudson. Yeah. But then later it was Keith David. Calvin, and that's Anderson from Mass Effect. Is that you're yes. talking about? Yeah. Okay. Is this... I, I, you went back. I, I saw something, but I didn't really hear it very well, so I went back and checked. Is this intentional or not? Listen to the background here in the subtitle. Commander Shepard. Commander Shepard. <laughs> I just, and, I saw it on the subtitle, but I, I didn't hear it because we, we were talking. It was like, 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 is that a reference or is the, it? The the skill, obviously, it's not. The Skillian yeah. Response Center. Skillian Response Center? I don't recognize Skillian. Okay. But Shepard, I mean, I do. I just yeah. wonder if that was like a, like a wink to people. I thought you were a fan here. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty far in. But I don't remember Skillian. <laughs> But I just I saw Commander Shepard and I was like, oh, that's cool. And then obviously the like there's a couple elements in here that reminded me of Mass Effect as well. But that's another thing. Anyway. No, yeah, I think so. So Keith David, he also he does a voice. That's how I know him as a guy. And he does a lot of voices. Yeah, a lot of voice games. work. Yeah, a lot of voice work. He's got a great, very round, very yeah, rumbly. Voice. Very good. It's it's great. But it wasn't Keith David. 
I didn't look or, up for this one. Gotcha. I was just looking up. I, I was trying to figure out the voice of the guy. I didn't see his credit. Yeah, I didn't see that. Name I was looking credits. for a name that I recognized, and I didn't see that name. So you're upset by the mask being taken off? I mean, uh, yeah, I, I'm not upset about it. Like, I'm not a huge Halo fan. It's like, just you squeezed my leg when it happened. I did, but you know, <laughs> it's almost Friday. With what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's not, in the first three games, like, there's not a tremendous amount to Master Chief's character. Sure. You know, he's tough, space marine dude. Yeah. Who's badass. And, like, it's uh, It's very subtle. Yeah. With my extreme small amount of experience with the story, I didn't realize that the UNSC were kind of dicks. They seem kind of dickish. Here. I mean, yeah, that's not really gone over in the first three games either, really. No. But anytime like, there's war, there's... Dicks on both sides. You're right. <laughs> also, this is like alternate reality. Yeah. UNSC. Yeah. Sure. I just like season one, episode one, like you know the the Covenant. I, that's what their name is, right? The big giant mm-hmm. alien dudes, the elites. Like they they are introduced just blowing up children. Yeah. Like it's extremely effective in terms of like fuck these guys, <laughs> and then the Silver Squad or I want to say Silver Squad, Team Silver, or whatever they come in, you're like holy shit, hell yeah. But then they're also not, like, really saviors either. Like, those other uh, uh, Spartans on the ground, those other three, like, I don't know if they really were, like, out of loyalty to Chief or if they were just because they're following orders, you know? Sure. Where, like, well, yeah, it seems them. like they have their memories sealed. Like, they're yeah. chemically induced to be the perfect soldiers. Yeah. So, like, how much agency do they have? Sure. Does Chief have more now that he touched that artifact? Like, he, Chief is able to retain, like, memories he used to have. Like, there was, it looked like maybe, like, a parent figure or figures in those. I don't, I'm not really sure. Well, from what Halsey was telling the uh, the Reach Commander and uh, Keys, yeah. uh, he's having memories. Memories. Which, it seems like after each mission, they, like, maybe wipe them so they don't have memories. Like, they don't have room for memories. Well, like, he, yeah, but again, he touched the thing. Because, like, he remembered killing her mom. Mm-hmm. But that's also after he touched the thing, so yeah, I suppose it's possible. Maybe he just remembers like the cliff notes of missions. Could it be that they get rid of everything from before they go into the Spartan program that's or whatever it is. Probably more likely. Than yeah, after each one. Yeah, I was trying to look at like in the game lore side of things, like like playing the first Halo. I don't get that the UNSC is a bunch of bad guys who are just fighting a war against these alien guys. Yeah. You know? But I know, like, we played Halo Reach, and that takes place before the events of Halo. Yeah. And, like, there's, like, the fall of Reach and everything, you know? Mm -hmm. But I was trying to, like, well, if this is before that, like, maybe there's, like, a time span beforehand. Because, like, Master Chief's not in that. Yeah. Yeah. So at some point, he's not there, and he goes elsewhere, you know? Sure. So, but time-wise, in the game lore, their years that they have is set in 2552 of the events of Reach. And then Halo is... Still in 2552, according 25, to what I was just 52. looking at. But it's just, that's set beforehand. So. Yeah. But this also said Magic Girl was 2552. Uh, 59. Right? That could be a two. <laughs> I wrote, <laughs> dang, Rick. I wrote during Planet Madrigal, uh, the water, like all that stuff that they were saying about, I wrote 2552 is the yeah. year there, which would be the same year as the fall of Reach, I would think. But. Okay. I don't know if they're going to cover that or what they're going to yeah. do or anything either. So, and because of how different this is, you know, things might not happen in the same sequence. Sure, exactly. Yeah, I don't know. Like Chief wasn't there, but if this happens before those events, and then you have like other Spartans there for other stuff and whatever. But yeah, and if we went past this year in the games, I feel like and Chief has never done this. Obviously, you know, he's never taken a girl and ran off. Yeah. So it's it's pretty divergent already. Maybe that's what happens before Halo One, Rick, and that's why. <laughs> You're just all alone in a thing. Maybe. <laughs> or it's a, I mean, like, you guys can recognize the world, but all the events can be new and yeah, fresh sure. for you, too. Also, yeah. It keeps it a little different when you're played not. all the games, have you? First three. Okay. Yeah, it's, yeah play more. Right? And I haven't read the books. I know there's a ton of stuff in the there's books. There's a bunch of novels. Yeah. And the novels are great, from what I've heard. I've heard that. And they all intertwine around the story of the games. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think, yeah, they're all canon. Yeah, the only ones I've played story-wise, and, like, I remember some of Reach... Um, which is, I, I want to say I recognize Halsey, and I can't remember if it was from Reach or not. I definitely recognize a couple names here and there that at least sound familiar, at yeah. the very least. But uh, 
But yeah, I don't know. If, I just was trying to think of like, if they do cover things from the games, what would they cover? And if they do, will I know them because I've only played two? They have the shield charging you know? noise. Yeah, I love that sure. moment where like you can tell he's <laughs> waiting for his shield to recharge, and then <laughs> that was great. Like all, all the guns look like the guns, all the ships look like the ships. Yeah, yeah. which is really cool. Yeah, um, they did a couple of first person moments and stuff too, which was really cool. I like kind of interchanging with the those. HUD looked a little different, but that's fine. I think the, a little bit, the but, but it was similar enough. Mm-hmm. Like it even had the little like radar dish thing, you know, like the little like the, the radar, the motion sensor thing, yeah. around motion here. tracker. Yeah, I thought just production wise, like especially sound, the sound sold that like these guys are bigger. Yeah, you know, I felt like a sense of scale in the sound, oh, wow. and then all the you could really feel their footsteps. Yeah, just like all of the gun noises, all the like recharges and stuff. Everything felt really punchy, like in the mm-hmm. moment. I thought that was good. So, I mean, I imagine that is going to be, you know, if this was like a multi-million dollar movie and they're spending $300, $300 million, they might have invested in like, oh, let's do more CG work with their costumes and stuff, you know. But it's cheaper for a television show to spend it all on the suit now and then you can use that suit, you know. It looks good. But I think it looks, I, I prefer that over the, you know, like I always liked... Iron Man 1 looks a little bit better to me than even in-game Iron Man because there's realism there, you know? Mm-hmm. There's practicality. Yeah, and I, I really enjoyed that here with this, with these suits. Mm-hmm. Like, I kept watching being like, man, I want to see Bad Batch in live action. And they move, <laughs> they, they move pretty well. They move yeah. really well. Yeah, know? they do. Or, like, to the point, they don't move perfectly, but I feel like that makes it more real. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, if it were really smooth and... Yeah. And flowy, you would feel like, oh, that doesn't weigh anything. Like, yeah, but the fact Robocop, that he's, he's clunking around in lift yeah. boots, you feel the weight of the yeah. armor. Like Robocop walks that way, one, because he's trying to look like a robot, but two, it's real heavy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it just feels good. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I guess their Master Chief's entrance was one of my favorite character entrances ever. I loved it. He just jumped out of a plane. Great moment. And just lands yeah. in the middle of yeah, a war zone. Because it, it immediately mean, shifts the tone. It, it really does, and it just makes you uh, like you just know in the first second he's on screen, this guy's good because they spent a decent amount of effort to be like the Covenant. Not only are they just like they're dicks, but they're huge, and we can't stop them. This part. Uh, oh, I meant the Covenant elite guys when they oh, came yeah. in. And when they came first. in, and, okay. I just meant like you can't stop. Like look what they're doing. They, granted, you are right about the turret. They were all there at the door, and yeah. I felt like the the general dude. He had a minigun too, did. and they were all like da 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 da. And then like they're like, oh. well, but yeah. then Master Chief's like, I have the gun now, and they're all like, but maybe their like, shields oh. uh, like were run down at that point. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Could be. you know. What I'm saying. They popped one of those like wall shields. Sure, yeah. and they, a and grenade the blew it up and knocked out the shields or something. But I just, to your point, like they put a lot of effort into, and now this guy's here, and even before he starts firing, and just, just back that I, or despite the fact I know who Master Chief is and that people like him, I just immediately got the sense of like they power scaled this man. Like, he, like these guys were here over me, <laughs> which yeah. is running around doing nothing, like that one guy was. The here, and then Master Chief showed up. It was yeah. just really effective. And they were so brutal, too, that you were like, yes, kill these aliens. I know. <laughs> you know? Like, like they, those killed, first kids? they killed those kids, like... Violent. It wasn't just, like, they fell down shot. Like, like there was an arm over here and a leg on this part of the woods. Yeah. Well, like, they the cut away. The plasma splatter yeah. looked really good. It Ugh. did. It... They cut away what? Well, they cut away when they're like mowing them down in the building. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But before that, in the woods, they're just blowing those kids up. They just showed everything. <laughs> I, I just one hundred percent did not expect those kids to blow up. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I did like Master Chief doing a because I've done it before in the games. It doesn't look like it didn't hear, but when you jump over an enemy and he's like mm-hmm. still shooting at him. Yeah. Of course, in here he's doing like a gymnastics like yeah, flip. like flipping with it, but you can't do that in the game. So you're just like jumping over, you're like da 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 da, you know, following yeah. it as you go. But I've definitely done that, yeah. and you bash from the back. <laughs> no, he's just tossing the grenades like it felt like Halo Combat. Uh, yeah, the way the, the elite play. like ducked and jumped to the left yeah. and then started shooting again. Not that's, enough running up and that's hitting exactly them with the exactly like it was like <laughs> yeah. motion captured from the game, a movement that the elites do. It's Ooh. great. Yeah. I thought they looked pretty decent as well. Oh, yeah. For being mostly CG, I think they looked really good. Now, was the guy that talked to the, like, we went to the Covenant base, Mm -hmm. was he CG and practical? I think his body and his hands were practical. I spent a lot of time being like, is he practical or is he not? He looked really good. The face, I think, 
It's one of those things where they might have some type of reference there. Maybe they just did really good. Lighting I feel like reference. they were basing it on somebody too. Yeah, but right. I, I, I mean, I don't know, but like the chair coming up looked really good. Um, but like, if you look at his hands, his hands have a motion of feeling. Yeah, very we'll real. go back when they were moving through the hallway. Yeah, let's go back a bit. I also like like the brain slash brainstem look of brain their squid look high thing. charity yeah. place, which is really cool. It's like a um, jellyfish. Yeah, jellyfish. Kind of look. I don't know. Like he just looks really. The chair looks cool. real. Yeah, it looks right? like that's like, just a dude sitting in a chair moving through a real space. Like I can believe that that's like a puppety. Hand I really right. believe no. there is a prosthetic. I don't know. I mean, that's what CG artists want you to think. Sure. I mean, like, his eyes like, are definitely CG. No, yeah. I could there's, believe, there's enhancement, one hundred percent. I could believe like his like the top of his neck where it doesn't like articulate for his voice and the mm -hmm. top of his head yeah. across his brow is all practical and some of his hands yeah i don't know and his, his robes hands, are all practical the hands and look they just really real. they animate like watch the, the, else. the way that the hands like twitch like i don't know yeah no if, i think that's a puppet i don't know it, if it, it isn't it's great it if looks it like is, it's, it's moving great. like a puppet yeah it's uh, kind yeah. of I, I anyway during this scene though with him i felt i spent a lot of time being like is he yeah. real in the, or when he's in the CG foreground, there, that, I think that's real. That's practical. All of that's practical. Anytime we see him from the back, I think. Yeah. Like this shot from the back, not that you can see we're at 24 yet. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. This human lady that seems to be in charge. But that was weird. Like his mouth is CG. Yeah, definitely. I feel like his face is based on maybe who voices him. Because yeah. he doesn't look like, you know, the Covenant guys that have like mm -hmm. the mandible things and stuff. He looks like he might be based on some kind of motion cappy. Like, I think all of his head here is CG. No, yeah, definitely. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if the shoulders are. There's just a CG replacement. But I think they had, at the very least, what they did, and this is what some of the best, like, Gollum and, you know, stuff they do, they have a maquette on set for lighting reference. It's and That way they can replicate perfectly what the lighting is. Because sometimes when you don't have that, you know, you ever see that big chrome ball they pull out mm -hmm. and it captures all the light from all of the whole room? Like, you could do that, but also they'll literally just have like a like a, like a sculpture like a, or yeah. a thing and they'll put that in there and that can just change the lighting. And the lighting is 100% what makes something look good. So, yeah. yeah, really cool. I really thought it was effective. And I hope that the, whoever worked on this shot gets great pleasure in us not knowing how they did it. Because that's, mm. the, that's the magic of it. It's like Penn and Teller fool us. Yeah. True. Remember that one time in Rivals, whenever we spun this saber in front of the camera and brought it up, and like they were visual effects artists on the judges' board, and they had no idea how we did it. The string. Yeah, we just fishing wire. <laughs> we just spin it and then move the string. <laughs> this felt so good. Um, yeah, what else do you guys got? I have a lot of stuff that yeah. I caught that I don't know if I want to bring up, because it's sure. probably going to be brought up in a better way than I could. Okay. Sure. I get that. Yeah, there's, there are a few things that I heard here and there. I was like, oh, yeah, that, that sounds familiar. Yeah. Um, a lot of names, like... Shepard. Yeah. That <laughs> like that. Shepard. Yeah. Shepard. Making babies. <laughs> <laughs> um, All right. Well, we do have Q&As over on Twitter yeah. that we can uh, mm. see what everyone has with Maybe that. I've already opened it, Eric. You're <gasps> wow, good job. Okay. No, uh, if you guys want to, uh, hashtag Halo Q&A on our Twitter. Yeah. You can tag us at Blind Wave Crew, and we will uh, talk about some of the stuff that you guys caught or have questions over, whatever, uh, every week. So make sure you guys follow us on Twitter. You can find links in the description below as well. Mm -hmm. um, Ryan Love says, never played any Halo, mm -hmm. so do you think this show's, first uh, this show's first episode suggests that people who haven't played the games will enjoy and understand the show as much as people who have, or will I be out of the loop? with the show as well. Well, I probably have the best way to answer that with my point of view, uh, just because I have a very small amount of the games. Um, I'm, like, if I would just watch this on my own, I would immediately, I, had, I could, I would immediately go to the second episode. Yeah. Like, I am interested. It's got me. Especially, where's he going? Like, yeah. you know, <laughs> what might, and what might, you know, some other Halo fans might not like. Like, for me, it was the moment he took his helmet off. I'm like, okay, that this got me, that's the show got me. I'm ready, I want to do more. Except for obviously the intro was fantastic. So if, that, yeah. if there was more scenes like that coming too, I would want to watch that. But uh, no, I mean I uh, I greatly enjoyed it, and I hope it keeps up that level throughout the season. 
Calvin yeah. having been someone who's played a lot of the Halo and like you beat Halo Infinite recently yeah. and stuff too. Like, what do you think of it from a perspective of like, well, I played like all the Halo games yeah. and I like the story already. Yeah. And um, if I think about it critically from the game's perspective, I would say it does not do it justice at all. And I think that is my fault for bringing preconceptions and expectations of what this show is going to be before they tell me what their story is that they're telling. I. I can like agree and disagree with that because like you're going to get a comparison. That's just the yeah. nature of an it's, adaptation. But it's I get you. Inevitable. Yeah. That like it's called Halo. The most important part of that. <laughs> is, the most important part of that is wait to see. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like the reason this is getting made is because it's a popular franchise. The reason it's a popular franchise is because of yeah. the games. Mm -hmm. you yeah. Know, and the stories that they told. Yeah. So. The experiences people had. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Skyro says. Were you expecting that level of gore at all when you started watching? No. <laughs> no. Certainly not in the first 10 minutes. <laughs> I figured there was going to be like a lot of alien goop. Yeah, sure. You know, style yeah. stuff. But I, I didn't figure like the Spartans were going to take too much damage. Like there's a lot of shield stuff yeah. in this universe. But yeah, did not expect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just didn't think I was going to start my day with kids blowing up. <laughs> all right. Not on TV anyway. No. <laughs> Dip says, haven't really played the games apart from a demo mm. for Halo Combat Evolved, but when that music hit at the end, of, uh, at the end I thought it was amazing. Agreed. Uh, do you feel like the quality of the show will remain the same, or because this was a first episode, they put a little bit more money into it? I mean, generally, that's what you want to do. You want to get people interested in a pilot, but pilots have so much work to do that every other episode of a show doesn't. That's why there are specific directors that only do like pilots yeah. of shows, and then they move on. <laughs> you know, because they know how a pilot is supposed to go, as opposed to other episodes. Um, I, I hope it keeps that quality, but I can't think. I can only. I, I wouldn't fault it for going down a little bit in quality, so long as. Like typically, there's like yeah. there's like a high point here, and then it drops down, sure. and then towards the end of the season, where they want to get people really excited and yeah. they want to spend a lot more of their CG budget, it starts going up. More. Sure, like I hope it's not just hey, you like that sweet you know battle that reminded you of playing the game in the beginning. Well, that's the only one you get this season. Now it's that. politics. Well, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, like in terms of scale of Halo battles, this one was like one small encounter small. yeah it was, I guess, a, it was a skirmish yeah, it's not even going to be a whole mission so yeah, no, I imagine yeah. we're going to get much bigger scale battles sure. yeah, the comment was Hopefully exploring so. for that one item it wasn't like they were taking over the planet or something like sure. that sure so. yeah um Naveen says what are your thoughts on Master Chief's face being revealed I was shocked at first but accepted it his voice though is something to get used to overall I like the episode and I'm interested in the series P.S. the show isn't the same timeline as the games mm. Yeah, which yeah, it definitely doesn't seem to be the same. I wonder if they'll, you know, like uh, like doing canon with Star Wars now, they'll pull from the EU, yeah. but it won't be exactly the same. So I wonder if like, you know, having played Reach, would we see things that like contribute to the fall of Reach or anything, or you know, like maybe we don't get that same squad, but we had this these four working. You on can trying probably to com it or something, you know, compare or, it more to The Walking Dead, where it's like it's the same world and the same events kind of happen, but in different ways, so sure. that you can't just expect to know what's yeah. going to happen. Kind of like Ghost in the Shell a little as well. Gotcha. Like it has a, it has a message yeah. and it has a, a um, not a theme, a tone, mm -hmm. but like the stories are different. Gotcha. Yeah. Depending on the different adaptations. Yeah, I, um, I didn't mind the face reveal. Like I was surprised that they did it in the first episode. Hmm. Like that takes guts because you're going to lose a lot of viewership just yeah. based on the diehard fans of the games and sure. stuff. Um, but the voice is the thing that has is, I'm, I'm struggling with the most. Sure, because it's been Master, the same voice. Since Master Chief one. has had the, the right? same voice for like yeah, twelve years. <laughs> Does that the guy that voiced him is he is he an older man now? Um, I mean, I mean he's time. sure he's getting up there. Like he would he like he probably wouldn't be able to take his helmet off and play this character. I'm sure, not. and then Certainly if you, if you have him yet. voice him. I mean, you could do the thing where it's like, well, when his helmet's on, he sounds like sync, this. Sure. When his helmet's off, like the modulation. His right? normal voice. You, you could do yeah, that. You can fix maybe. it by just never taking off the helmet, too. Does that fix it, though? Yeah, just use his voice, then. It doesn't matter, right? Yeah, but is it part of the story of him having to take off his helmet, which it obviously was here, right? Yeah. 
It wasn't like he was just like, man, this is hot. <laughs> like, <laughs> there was a reason he did it. It wasn't just like, sure, to take it off, I suppose, you know. But I don't know. I'm I, I'm not against him doing it. For me, I mean, I played a little bit of Halo, but I don't know if if there's a big reason in the games where it's like he got to leave his helmet on. I don't ever want to see his face. Like I don't know. Like every time me, I see, I'm like, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Every time I see Batman and then he speaks for the first time, I always go, well, that's not Kevin Conroy, you know. But sure. it doesn't mean I don't enjoy it. Yeah. Sure. Like, I would imagine I'm feel, I'd feel that way about it, but I don't know because there's been a lot of Batmans. There's only been one Master yeah, Chief. It's so like, like when you have Darth Vader, but it's not like James Earl Jones doing sure. the voice yeah. of Vader. You know, it's mm-hmm. someone else. It's like, like you, well, you accept it, but when it's James, you're like, oh, there it yeah, is. I get you. That's it. Yeah, exactly. I'd be like that, and I get that. Um, but he has removed his helmet in the games before. He's taken it off. You never see his face. You don't see oh, his face. Okay, gotcha. At the end of the first game, it like I the camera they, pans up away from a cockpit. And the the top of the cockpit blocks him his face when he okay. takes it off, but he, he lays his helmet on the console. Gotcha. Okay. So he does yeah. take it off. You just he don't does. see it. You don't yeah. know who he is. So. Dip also says, out of the four Spartans that we saw, whose armor slash weapons did you like the most? Kai. The sniper. Yeah. One, two, Kai five. Me too. I do <laughs> like sniping. Sniping's one of my favorite things. Well, he's also, he's a tiny bit slimmer than the others, too, so he just, his just looks more, a little more sleek, I think, and not, you know, I had to be a seven-foot Goliath. You don't like <laughs> to get done. V- Vinok? Vinok's look cool. I mean, none of them look bad. No, they were all Vanic. awesome. And I probably just like the color of, of Kai's the most, too. Like, I like I like them getting in the... Yeah. They kind of remind me of Iron Man, too, a little oh, bit. Yeah. Like, Made me think of yeah. Warhammer. Sure, yeah, I could see that. Or uh, Star, Starcraft? Starcraft. Starcraft, yeah, when they, yeah. the Marines are putting on their stuff, and you see, yeah, that's mm-hmm. what makes me think of there. Now, I don't know the story of the games or anything, but is this, like, you know, touching an artifact and getting memories thing part of the, that story, or is this new? Because it could be that the other Spartans, we never see their face because they never have a identity or personality, whereas John, or Master Chief, has touched it and now has gotten memories, thus... He gets the human face. In Halo 2, you touch a thing that looks kind of like that, and yeah. you see other cutscenes. Mm-hmm. They're not like memories. Gotcha. But there's, they're cutscenes you wouldn't normally see. There's definitely a lot of artifacty things yeah. that they do in Halo. Like, if you think of it as, like, the mythology of film, then you could, you know, you could say, like, an archetype of, the you know, they touched this magical object, thus gaining their identity, and thus we see his face, you know? They could go something like that, and maybe you never see the face of the other uh uh, Spartans. Sure. Like in this they one here, they don't get that enhancement. In, in this one here, if like a big difference is, and and I don't really know all the stories of what the Spartans are in the games, but if if the, if the story they're going for here is that these Spartans used to be people, we removed all their memories, they yeah. have no identity, they have no personality or anything, they are just a Spartan. Mm-hmm. And then you get Master Chief who touches this thing yeah. and he starts getting memories and he starts breaking of yeah. the programming. Thus, you have a face for that. Sure. But when he's Master Chief, he's Master Chief. I get you. But, but now you're you're unlocking John. You and know I think I mean? that story's fine, but maybe establish it more mm. beforehand if that is the case. Then. Sure. Like, would it be better as like an episode three thing where you see Spartans kind of doing some of the bad stuff, and you're like, but then are you disconnected from it more because you're like, but well, this isn't Master Chief. He's just killing innocent people. You know? Yeah. Like, what's what's the balance and where's your like if we see him kill her mom? For yeah. Hearing like if you see it. that and then you're like. This is a Master Chief, and then you've you've disconnected from it already, as opposed to like, well, in the first episode, we you see him like come in, he's following orders, and then you see him kind of breaking from that. Like, sure, we didn't establish the bad, bad Spartan kind of side because we just see him killing. But he does just leave that kid. Yeah, he didn't care. (laughs) So I I don't know. Like, what's the balance, and how do you do it where you're not pissing off people because of this, but you also not pissing off people because of this. But you also have to adapt, and you have to have your main character be able to emote and. And, and act. <laughs> yeah. Know? Like, if they did a Legend of Zelda thing and then Link spoke, I'm not going to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> See, I was thinking about that while I was <laughs> watching. I was like, if they made a Half-Life, would I want Gordon to speak? Sure, yeah. And I don't think I would, but that'd be real tough. It would well, yeah, be really would hard. That? Very, very hard. It would be hard. very <laughs> campy. How the same we way Willy's Wonderland character. is campy. Like, in a game, you are the character, so you automatically relate, but yeah. here we're, we're an observer. We're watching. If... Link never speaks, and I don't give a shit what sort of sure. is, you know? Well, like, in Pokemon games, your character, like, never talks, but they ask you questions, yeah. and then they respond as if you've said stuff, usually. Yeah. yeah. Like, in the newer games, you can choose, like, yes, no, yeah. and that kind of stuff, but, like, in the older games, they would, like, respond as if you said But, I mean, you can literally make that character your name. Like, in Zelda, you can literally link, it's not, you know, I mean, 
just now. But it used to be that you literally you could put Rick in there, and they yeah. would Princess Zelda like Rick, help save Hyrule. If you put Link, you get the second quest. Yeah, right? yeah. and one of the games, but in uh, Breath of the Wild, they say Link now. <laughs> They're tired. Everybody calling him Zelda, and he's left-handed again. I think so, yeah. He switched over time. Yeah. yeah well, they had to switch for Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword, yeah. yeah. However, I can't, like, you know, I, I just, if someone has that as a criticism that they can't get past, I can't blame them. Sure. Like, that's obviously an important thing for the character, as you guys said. So. Yeah. It's just ironic that it was, like, the moment where I'm like, fuck yeah, I want to see the war. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say it lost me, but sure. it, it made me much less excited. Yeah, I get you. You know what happened shortly after they revealed his face? Hmm. Rick took a drink. <laughs> I don't know if there's an exact correlation, but sometimes I, when I feel like, I don't know if Rick's going to like this part, I see how my I eye can, him getting a drink, yeah. and I'm like, are those correlated or not? I don't know. I could see when the, uh, the mandible locks came out, Rick like, he leaned back like, I'm not going to like this. <laughs> I was just like, that's the only way he can make her faster. <laughs> um... Javi says, in the games, Cortana chooses her own name. Here it looks like it may be given to her from the UNSC. Does that mean that she will be under direct control of the UNSC? It seems like in this storyline, I think everything, like Spartans and all of them, are kind of like directly controlled by the UNSC. That's what I got. So I think that's kind of the route that they're going with, but there may be a thing of like, the idea is breaking free of that maybe. Well, it'll be interesting too, because like seemingly... I don't know how those two are ever going to cross paths, mm-hmm. Master Chief and Cortana, because sure. it seems like they've broken off and are separate things sure. now. Yeah, and I also don't know. I mean, I don't know what storyline and stuff they're going with, and how they're doing well, all this stuff, or when they would meet. You know, it, but if you're basing it off the games, then they have not. That interaction hasn't came to be because it's going to be in the future. Yeah, but I don't know it, with this being different how they would do yeah. it anyway. So, is that a thing that they do interact? Is it just like we're seeing bits and stuff kind of also being, well, we don't have this yet, but here's this being nodded to for maybe season two. Well, know? we saw Cortana in the trailer, right? Sure. I, all I know about Cortana is, person. is something like that happened. And that you guys doesn't are, necessarily ah! mean that it's Cortana. Like, hmm. Sure. And, <laughs> like, I mean, she was around in the first game before she was with Master Chief. Mm-hmm. You know, like, she could just be elsewhere. She's a clone. Of who? Well, I mean, that they said about doing no cloning and no... No Cortana, Cortana project. Yeah, yeah, no Cortana, Which no cloning. Which, to me, implied that it, whatever was there was a clone, but I could be wrong. Hmm. Clone in the closet? <laughs> the thing in the egg did look similar to Halsey. Mm. Mm. Albeit weird gray suit. Mm. Oh, yeah, so, just so I'm clear, is uh, Miranda Halsey's daughter? That's well, what I, that's what I, Miranda I, seems to be the daughter of... Uh, keys, yeah, mm-hmm. and then it sounds like she said about it's tougher when it's your when mother, it's your mom. mom. Yeah, so I'm assuming Halsey is her mom as well. Okay, from the way they said about it. That's what I got. I got confused but... at one part. You said Miranda, and then I'm sitting here like, did I write something down wrong? Isn't her name Miranda? And then like then later on you'd be like, no, wait, she's Miranda. I'm like, okay, all right, I feel better. <laughs> yeah, because I was like, I wrote something down and I'm wrong and I don't know what I did. Yeah, <laughs> the, the girl that was talking to her, trying to get her to record something to send out to the rest of the plants. That's Miranda Keys. Yeah, and then the the commander of the military at Reach is also Keys. Yeah, which is her father. Yes. All right, um, we'll end here with Ben, who says, "What do you all think of Pablo Schreiber? Schreiber? Schreiber as the Master Chief?" so far or the casting of the actor so far compared to the video games curious to hear all of your thoughts um i think he has a good face for it if you're gonna cast you know big muscular quiet dude yeah i think he's he looks yeah. good i think he does so muscular I, quiet dude. you know i never had like a concrete preconception of what master chief's face was going to be because i had trust that i was never going to have to address that in myself Sure. sure. Yeah, I just, I always pictured Doom Guy for some reason. I don't know what he looks like. <laughs> I don't know what he looks like either. <laughs> Doom Guy? I haven't seen his face. I, Didn't this just it's, happen it's with the uh, menu. Oh, that, okay, yeah, no. I get you. <laughs> Isn't there a character that in, makes sense. in Fortnite that this just happened to? Like, you've never seen his face and it turned out to be The Rock? Like, wouldn't it have been crazy if, like, you never see his face and it turned out to be, like, oh my god. No, yeah. There was a character, it was, it was last year, <laughs> towards, the, towards the end of the, the yeah. chapter of the series, season or whatever, and yeah. they had a 
a moment where like he had been around there's a few times you met this guy named the foundation and it's just like yeah. okay, okay okay and then like he busts in to save like one yeah. of the, like the main character of the game named yeah. jones and uh, or jonesy and when he busts in he hits a button and takes off his helmet and he's the rock yeah and i remember like what the fuck the rock's in this yeah. <laughs> like rick who could it have been when he took his helmet off that you would have been like okay it's worth him taking his helmet off who could it have been <laughs> Like Obama. Red Brown. <laughs> Red Brown. Red Brown would be pretty good. I would have let it go. But he's a little over the hill now. <laughs> I don't know if if Master Chief needs a rebel yell, Rick. Yeah. <laughs> I felt like the guy looked familiar. I was trying to see if I knew him from anything. I don't really know him Pablo from anything. Or something? Yeah. Although, I think it's funny, though. He was in Orange is the New Black, and his mm. name was George... Pornstash Mendez. Pornstash! Oh, the guard! <laughs> I just okay. thought it was like, he just, looked like he used to be Pornstash. He should be a Gears of War character. Oh, fuck. Oh, American God. Mad Sweeney. He was yeah. the, like uh, the, the, not leprechaun, but. Based, yeah. He yeah. was like based on a leprechaun, wasn't he? Kind of thing. Like Basically. it was like luck yeah, and the, coins and. Yeah. It was like an Irish God kind of thing that he was. That is what? Oh, man, he got yeah. big. He did. In American Gods. And oh. uh, Pornstash, I feel like, is. Was thin and, and like a thinner, taller guy. Yeah. So was uh, Mad Sweeney. I mean, I can't see. He was. He was thinner. Know, he in looks the face. thicker. He looks. Well, he's stronger. probably bulked up to yeah. one to just be in shape to ha- carry this yeah. this practical suit around. Sure. <laughs> yeah. No, that's him. Yeah. Of course, that's him. He's a great character. That's great. <laughs> that's so funny. The difference. They look quite different. Oh, they very different. different. They look very different. If you had told me that, like, oh yeah, who they cast to be Master Chief? Porn like, Porn stash. Stash. like what? But no, I'm glad that I saw it first and then learned that. Me too. I'm surprised he has a beard. Yeah. You figure standard issue, he wouldn't have one. Well, how often does he take his helmet off to shave? Yeah. He said he does not take it off very often. How'd they know? They know everything about his biology. Yeah, right. He looks he looks a lot different than <laughs> Matt Sweeney. He yeah, he does. He, does. <laughs> he looks much more like that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, but well, that's, that's cool. the last of the Q and A's, though. Uh, but no, I don't. I mean, I don't have an issue with the mask being off. I just want to see how the story goes, and then if I don't want the mask to be off, I'll just go with video game lore. Gotcha. You know, like I'll just split them. There's like some stories and stuff from like Star Wars where like I like this yeah. EU story better than I like maybe this canon story but mm-hmm. yeah. I can enjoy it. I like Envisions where you the like sabers this. are colored based on your yeah. personality. Yeah. Like it's yeah. a fun idea. It's fun. You know? it like it's, it's different and I'm like oh I like it and you can tell a lot of neat stories that way too that maybe you can't tell the other way you know but I can you enjoy. can do great stuff, or you can make terrible mistakes. I can enjoy both separately. Yeah. Yeah. You can get the Mario movie. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you could. Yeah, that's a different timeline, you know. <laughs> sure. But I also enjoy that. <laughs> I'll watch that. Yeah. We should watch that. In fact. We should. All right, guys. We're also gonna be having polls at the end of every episode, which we do over at patreoncom slash You can find links down in the description below. Poll for this week. We want to know how you're feeling about the show and mm-hmm. if you're liking it or not. Also, in the options of the poll. Yes. You're going to have listed on whether you're someone familiar with the games or someone not familiar with the games. That way we have a little bit of a guideline on, like, you know, Eric saying, like, I really enjoy this based on what it's been given, and I don't know the games at all. Or maybe Rick being like, eh, I don't know. I really like the games. I like not knowing his face. Yeah. You know, and if you uh, have reasons as to why you like and don't like it, make sure you let us know in the comments and we mm-hmm. will talk and about try, that. And try to keep your too. reasons relatively spoiler free, but not too crazy or anything. Yeah. I'm, I've already heard things now where I'm like, oh, okay, interesting. We'll see where that goes. But mm-hmm. Yeah. So let us know over at patreon.com slash blindwave what you're thinking of Halo. And uh, we will be back next week with more. <laughs> we need to do outro. Ah. Damn it, Calvin. Now you have How to do many it. videos now you, have we did? Now you have to do it because you were do doing it. that. Start it right now. Go. All right. Thank you so much. Make sure you check out the poll over at patreon.com slash blindwave. And make sure you subscribe because we are going to continue on watching this when it is released every week. Also, check out everything else that we do on the channel. The best way to do that is subscribe. I swear we're more mature. <laughs>